Welcome friends to this video tutorial on AutoCAD electrical software. In this video tutorial, we will see what is the use of annotation in status bar. Annotation is located here in status bar. This is your annotation in status bar. Now let me draw a line. Or it can be a rectangle. Here we are taking a rectangle and line as an example. Then I am marking the dimension of the line. Similarly, I am marking the dimension of the rectangle. Now you can see that when I increase the length of the line, the annotation also increases. Here also, when I increase the length of the rectangle, the annotation also increases. When I decrease the length, the length decreases. Here also, when I decrease the length, the length decreases. But if unknowingly I have moved the annotation to somewhere else. Now what I am doing is I am moving the annotation. Now you can see that in both the things I am moving the annotation to some other point. Now AutoCAD is showing an error. This is giving an error that this annotation is not associated to any object in the diagram. Here also this annotation it is not associated to any object in the diagram. Now we need to reassociate. How to reassociate? If you move this line again back to this line, it will not associate. Even similarly, if I move this annotation back to the rectangle, it will not reassociate. The only way to reassociate in AutoCAD electrical is by using the command line. And the syntax is dim reassociate. Now we need to specify the starting point and ending point. Similarly, if you specify the starting point and ending point, now you can see that now the annotation is reassociated with its diagram. Now you are not having the error symbol. By this way, we can ensure that we are having accurate measurement in AutoCAD electrical. Even if you move some dimension unknowingly, it will show you an error that this annotation is not in its original position. Thank you.